Welcome to 304 Customs Garage. In this episode, we're going to be removing the factory transmission cross member in this V8S10 swap that we've been working on on the channel. And we're going to be changing it for this aftermarket transmission cross member for S10 trucks. There's several reasons we're going to be changing this out. And I'll touch base on those as we go through the video. But first, let's take a look inside the box of what you get when you purchase it. Okay, so when you purchase this from Summit Racing, it's about $4 to a little under 30 cheaper than what I've saw online. And the reason, I'm not sure, but what you do get is this cross member is actually a G-Force S10 cross member. If you look up this part number here, you will see that it comes up G-Force. It looks like the instructions that I saw online also for the G-Force cross member. However, the logo is not missing. As you see, it says back of cross member, remove this decal after installation. Pretty sure the G-Force logo sticker or whatever decal usually goes right there. I'm not complaining. It's a little cheaper. It's the exact same thing. And it was free shipping from Summit Racing. So. Save a few bucks, put it towards something else for the truck. Anyway, when you get this, this is what you get. Obviously, some instructions. It shows you basically how to put it in. Comes with this mount extension, I guess, like channel for the transmission. All of these transmissions here are the ones that are covered with this. Some may not be on there they may work with this as well you'll have to find that on, on your own because i do not know that answer also what you get is this nice assortment of bolts washers and lock nuts and then you also get these plates here and these are for obviously like going on top of here can't see that like here for instance put that on there and basically this is going to go in place of your factory cross member under the s10 that's the one i have on here right now however there's several reasons which we'll jump to here in a second of why i chose to go with this one and just spend the extra money instead of using the factory one nothing wrong with the factory one if you can make it work however uh I think it's going to be more difficult to try to make that one work the way I want it to with what I'm trying to do with the truck. So that is the reason I'm swapping it to this one. But we'll go over here to the truck and I'll show you a couple things. But first, I can actually show you this while I have this here. The reason I'm swapping this partially is because if you can see, there are humps here. Of course, your transmission is going to go here. Pumps on each side, and this is going to allow the exhaust to come underneath here instead of hanging so low, you'll have more clearance to get it further away from the ground. So we'll go under here, we'll take a look at some couple more things, and then we'll get this put on tonight. Okay, so we're up under the truck now. And this is the factory S10 cross member that came in this truck. It was a 4.3 V6 automatic. Over there, for exhaust purposes, that's fine. That's what the new one looks like. On the driver's side, it's flat. Not so much. So with the fender well headers, I'm planning on running 3 inch exhaust. And we're going to be 90 and off the fender well headers back under the frame. And then another 90 to turn it straight back. And then we run into this bar. So the options there are up and over and then down or run it underneath, which it would hang lower and closer to the ground. And I don't like that idea. So I'm gonna, first reason for changing it, I guess you would say. The next reason for changing that is I wanna get this set up so I can go ahead and start working towards the rear of the truck with everything. And after talking with some suspension companies, this week 
Um, they basically all told me the same thing and my pinion angle on the transmission currently it's a little hard to see on camera but it's about four degrees right now and I was told on the transmission you want to get it closer to zero to two degrees I'm not an expert on this so take that with a grain of salt I'm gonna go with that because that's what they told me so my understanding is once you gets this to zero to two degrees pointing down your rear end will be pointing up the opposite but same degrees and there's a little bit of play in there a degree or two of wiggle room I guess you would call it it can be different so we're gonna go with that try that out and hopefully everything will go smooth the mount we're using there is a energy suspension polyurethane mount and I think it should work well with the new cross member. So we'll go over here, get some tools, get this one off, get a jack under the trans, and then we'll get this new one on and we'll take a look and see if it changes the pinion angle, Andy. Okay, so uh, to help explain a little bit what I was talking about there underneath the truck, when I talked to Calvert Racing, um, this is what they explained to me about how the pinion angle works with their cow tracks. And he told me, I don't remember what the guy's name was, but he told me the trans needs to be anywhere from zero to two degrees down, pointing down towards the ground. And not to worry about the drive shaft. They don't need to be that particular, apparently. But then he said when you get to your rear, as you can see here, it says the rear needs to be pointed up some opposite, but the same degrees as close as you can get to your transmission. So mine's at uh, about a negative two and a half, three right now, pointing down. So we're going to put the rear end, once we get to that part of the truck, in at two to three degrees positive, pointing up in the air. And that's with running cow tracks. It may be a little bit different if you don't have that, and that is also on a leaf spring rear or rear suspension. Um, if you have questions i can maybe help you out a little bit i don't understand this fully so i'm not going to advise anyone to try this without maybe talking to someone yourself but from everything i've read this makes sense now after talking to them and i also talked to someone at uh, i believe it was curry enterprises this week about the same thing and he basically told me the same thing that you're seeing here just needs to be the opposite of your trans and to keep the stress out of, I guess, the U-joints, you need to keep the degrees low. Um, I did believe that they said you could go up to about three or four. Don't quote me on that. Do your research on this before you do this. I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to go under here, and we'll take a look at our finished product. Okay, so we're back under the truck again. As you see now, we have the new cross member in. I didn't take this little remove sticker off yet, but that's okay. Look at all that exhaust space now. Straight shot clear back here to me. Mounts the same over here on this side. E-brake, I did have to loosen it up a little bit. I might have to figure something out about that. I'll mess with that later. But that is a very sturdy piece you see under here. See it mounts over there. And my energy suspension mount just goes into this little channel. see under here it is a fairly clean shot over here as well straight back and then there for anyone who's curious about what this looks like before you may want to purchase it so now I have plenty of space for my exhaust it doesn't have to hang on the ground it's pretty simple with this energy suspension mount. It just rolls right up underneath of it and it mounts on here like so. If you all can see that. And then one other thing I was mentioning right now for this degrees, we're setting about. 
was that one degree I thought it was around two and a half when I put it on there must have bumped the protractor but I haven't touched it now so we're sitting between one and a half and two degrees right now which that's right about what according to Caltrack this transmission should be pointing down like I said we'll take a measurement in the front also um, just to double check it and if I have to I can always get shims I have room up there in the trans tunnel to raise it up a little bit more if I have to but in the meantime I thank you all for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comments I hope I didn't give you any wrong information I hope I wasn't given any wrong information from those suspension businesses I spoke with they're pretty well known and racing so i'm sure they know what they're talking about and this may not be the right setup for everyone but this setup's going to work on this truck now and i thank you all for watching as always and we'll see you next time